just because my mother didn't break all the generational curses doesn't mean she broke none. She was 15 when she left home. And I didn't have to leave until I was 24. She broke herself to give me 10 more years to be a child. When black girls speak about our mothers, it is often with such pain, such hurt. They didn't get us. They didn't understand us. There's not a black girl I know who isn't running away from the woman her mother was. But that is a privilege we get only because of the women our mothers are. When my mother was 17, I was too. She carved a whole world out of herself for me. I hope I never have to be my mother. But let me tell you about the woman my mother is. I'm not afraid to reinvent myself because I have seen my mother do it countless times. She built a whole world, tore it down, built another, abandoned that one only to build again. And even now, I see her trying to fit my whole world into hers to somehow understand, somehow make room for a whole new world mother. While you are still alive, let me give you your flowers. Say, I have no idea how you did it, and I am in awe of you still. When my mother was 17, she left her marriage with my father. I am still wondering at the courage of that teenage girl. My mother doesn't tell me stories of when she was a girl. She doesn't tell me who she was before I met her. Before I came into her life, I wonder if it's because she never had the chance to be a girl. There are times she sighs and says, hey, at least my children are not where I was. Nimewapeleka mahali. Nimewasongesha mahali. I didn't find out my mother was pregnant with our second born until she was about a month old. That woman can hide a whole world in herself. And I am just learning how much that takes. I don't write poetry that has punchlines. I write poetry that breaks your heart. Poetry that asks you to feel the pain because the only way out is through. And you only heal the pain you feel. My poetry is a song for my mother, for all the pain she carries within herself because she'd be damned if a drop of it was to spill to her children. My poetry is a dance to the tune of my grandmother's laughter. Oh, but I have known women of valor. My poetry is an awakening, standing on the sacrifices of generations of women who have come before me. And I never want to be a woman who sacrifices herself. A woman who bears her bones dry, suffocates with all the pain she is holding inside, has mastered how to get through life choking, out of breath, out of air. I never want to be a woman who carries the whole world on her shoulders. But my God, do I honor the women who had. My God, do I honor your sacrifices if I can be anything at all in this world. It is because of everything you are. I could only see this far, standing on your bones. <laughs>